already know what time it is what is going on youtube this is i talk here back again on piso's channel piso is still gone so i am here to cover the cause skeleton skin this is a brand new skin that just dropped in the item shop today on october 17th 2021 now cause is like an artist and he also sells a lot of figurines and stuff very expensive by the way it's more expensive than Gugumon and janky stuff like it's even more expensive than that so this guy's a pretty big deal and uh happy to see him in the game i just kind of wish fortnite did a little bit more to promote it i guess because it's only this like there's no back bling there's no pickaxe no glider no wrap no nothing fortnite was just like and eh, we'll just drop it in the item shop and I i'm okay with that i would have liked a little bit more promotion for this but guys let's see what it looks like in game all right guys here we are with the cause skeleton skin like i said this is it this is the skin you're getting here the the uh it's a little bulky for the head not not really though it, it's really not it's really not that bad uh, little things on the side of his head here i think it's actually pretty cool uh i don't know what wrap i'm using i'm using the impasto wrap not sure why i picked it i just i don't know why not but um yeah so this is the normal edit style here i forgot to mention he does have some edit styles which is really cool um he is cell shaded which is a little bit interesting because i know i don't know how people uh feel about cell shaded skins but this is not a bad cell shaded skin I don't think it is. Again, no back bling, but you're getting four edit styles out of him, so not too shabby there. Like I said, I think my main issue with the skin here is that Fortnite just decided to like really not promote him all that much at all. Now, honestly, they didn't really give him a whole lot to work with here. Like I said, no back bling, no wrap, no pickaxe, no glider. So a little bit disappointing there. But this is still a really neat skin. I think people are going to like this one for sure. The skeleton is extremely high in detail. Like, this is, like, really, really darn good. I don't know what the sides of his head is supposed to be. Uh, we're using the chop drop. Uh, the chop drop, excuse me. This is the Gugumon glider. See what I did there? Two artist collabs. See? Uh, -huh. uh yeah, pretty cool. Really happy with this. Here we go with the orange edit style here. Again, I think this looks nice. Again, it's that skeleton that's really just like, this is really, really high quality. Here we have it with the green edit style here. Very nice. And then here we have it with the pink. I think back blings might be a little bit difficult for him because again, the cell shading can really throw off some back blings. So we'll have to wait and see what Irto comes up with. But I think as a skin, it's not bad at all. I'm actually really happy with it. All right, Irto here taking over for Bezo once again. And we got another tough outfit for combos. This one has the cell shaded animation, but I still favor some stuff here to show you. This one looks very clean. A lot of them are going to be for the theme. For example, this one here has the bones drawn onto the wings. So it makes sense. This one is for the color scheme. Black and white here on black and beige. Not too bad. This one is easy, but very clean. But like I said, see here, the animation is not on point with the outfit, but it still kind of works. You know, you have to get really creative with some of the combos. The tuna fish skin here, cell shaded animation on it. And it doesn't look perfect there because of the gray on it, but it's all right. You can maybe make a theme. The Balenciaga stuff is super clean, expected and easy. Fuzzy bag for the color scheme. Not too bad. This is the closest color that I found to the actual color of the skeleton. It's not too bad. And last but not least for the first edit style, the shadow wings. For the orange edit style, I discovered that some back blings that have gold on it are actually very close to the shade of orange that we got on the outfit survival kit here. Doesn't look too bad. The tendril toe works on any edit style. Birdshot, kind of close. Looks decent there. Cuddle bow, easy, expected. It looks clean. A ball janky. I think all of these janky backlinks kind of works here for the theme. This might be my favorite backlink here. The metallic orange is very close to the shade of orange that we got on the outfit. It's also very aggressive. Another one with some gold details on it. Looks clean. Balenciaga, they all work. They're all easy and they're all very clean. We have cuddly bones here because, you know, it goes with the bones of the skeleton. Bat attitude, you know, the brown kind of close to the shade of orange. Easy, but clean here. Pot of gold, lucky coins, looks very good with the shade of gold. This, the Pell Pack works for AD edit style here because of the cell shaded on the outfit. And last but not least, the Manta. All right, for the green edit style, I found it to be a little easier than the previous two. I don't know, I like some of the items a little bit better. Also, we've gotten a lot of green 
lately into Fortnite. So I'm not complaining. I'm just pointing it out. This one, you might have to stretch some gold onto the pickaxe to make it all work. But yeah, like I said, we never used to have enough green. And I feel like we kind of have enough now to pick and choose, make some really good combos. You can get really creative here with this one if you find the right pickaxe. Could be a really scary theme. Looks very good for the hack pack. The green is a little off, but it's okay. The guffy stuffy, you know, it might be too much green here. The next three items might be a lot of green actually here. But, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do to make these cell shaded combos work. The rainbow clover, not particularly one of my favorite backplanes, but it looks decent here. Might be a lot of green, like I said. This, you might be able to make some crazy combos with it. Let's see the other edit style here. That looks better, in my opinion. It kind of goes with the vibes. The animation is on point. Might be one of my favorites. And finally, we have a pink edit style for cause skeleton and i find it to be really really fun for combos because we do have a lot of pink in fortnite some of them it brings an extra color here just like this one so you got you have to get a little creative there and stretch that onto the pickaxe but that's part of the fun when it comes to making combos also some of the pink is not really spot on in fortnite so i didn't include it here in this video but when it comes to making combos like i said find a neutral color and for this one it would be pink and if there's any extras stretch that onto the pickaxe Make some really, really good combos. This is really clean right here. Black and pink, and it's the right shade of pink. The quad roller, eh, maybe a little off here. And shout out to Pizoi, though. I'm on your video here, but come on, you have to show Nosh for everyone here. The techie backplane, why not? The star power, and last but not least, the Scully Satchel. And with that being said, liking the video is always appreciated. Subscribing is free. That is code P-I-Z-0 in the item shop. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you nerds on the live stream. See ya!